floor of the mouth being pushed downwards and the tongue being pushed upwards. Okay, so that's the last of the spaces that we need to talk about related to fascia and so on within the neck. Moving on in the curriculum, just to talk about the sternomastoid muscle. So here we can see in this picture, the sternomastoid only on the left and then on the right hand side, the sternomastoid and some of the other muscles have been removed to show the deeper layers. So the sternomastoid muscle, there's one on each side, of course, and each muscle turns the head towards the opposite side. When both of them work together, they flex the neck, they bend the neck forward, but because they attach to the back of the head, to the mastoid behind the pivot point, they actually extend the head so that the head looks upwards. The sternomastoids are innervated, of course, by the spinal, by the accessory nerve, the 11th nerve, one of the cranial nerves. And we test this in a clinical examination by getting the patient to turn the head to one side and toward to the other and putting the hand against the side of the head as a resistance to restrict the rotational movement. So we use it as a clinical neurological assessment. 